Hello everybody and welcome to my first video on YouTube. In this video I'm going to talk about Mozilla Firefox and multi-account containers. Now a day ago I saw this post by Theo Joe asking which web browser we all use. And the popular options were Chrome, Edge, Firefox and what I saw from these comments is that most people like myself were using Firefox. Some were using Vivaldi, some were using Brave, and then the small minority were using Microsoft Edge. I made a comment talking about how Firefox, in my opinion, is a perfect browser when it comes to a really good balance between privacy and convenience because you're able to use something called multi-account containers which negates the needs for profiles or separate browsers in my opinion to isolate all of your website traffic within a single window. Now the way multi-account containers work is you create a separate sandbox if you will that's another way of saying it you can create a separate sandbox or container and then assign certain URLs to it. Then, once you load up a website that is assigned to that sandbox or that container, Firefox will know and it'll open in that container all the time. So I'm quickly going to show you a quick demo of how it works and then I'll create a new Firefox profile to show you how to set it up from scratch. So we're going to load a gaming website here, we're going to click on the 3ds hacks website. And as you can see, this pulls up in the gaming container. You can see the blue tiling at the top of the tab. And it tells me right here which container it's being opened on if you need a bit more clearance. Now let's go to another website. Let's go to Amazon.com. Amazon opens up on a separate tab. And as you can see, now it's green and it's opened in the shopping container. If I click on this icon, you can see all the containers that I created for my setup. And of course, if I click here, and then click here, and then click here, I can see all the URLs that I assigned to these containers. Now, I will be going through these in detail, so if it looks like I just skipped through them, don't worry, I'll create a new profile and show you how this works step by step. So, the first thing we're going to do is just create the new profile itself. So, we're going to go to About, Profiles. And we're simply gonna create a new profile with a default user, that's fine. And we're gonna launch this in a new browser. So this is what Firefox looks like when you launch it for the first time. This is what you will see. So just close these two tabs and then type in Mozilla add-ons and then click enter. And now we're simply going to click here and we want to search for multi-account containers. So Firefox multi-account containers, click on add to Firefox and then click add here. Click OK and then click here. Now the first window basically tells you the benefits of using this extension. It's a better way to organize your online digital life and all that. Click and get started and here it kind of explains how it works. Next 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 and now it tells you about syncing i personally do use syncing because i find it incredibly convenient and useful to have all my containers backed up with firefox i don't have to spend what 20 30 minutes setting these up because i have a lot of urls in each container and having to go through them one by one again i don't know in my opinion i would just rather have them there so we're gonna click on not now and not now and this is what it looks like out of the box so what I'm going to do is simply delete all of these containers and then show you from scratch how to set them up. And now we're going to click on new. We're going to give it a name. I want to create a gaming sandbox so that Discord and other sorts of websites open up in that particular sandbox. So we're just going to give it the name gaming and we're going to make it purple. And we're going to give it this gift icon here. Click on OK. And now you have the container ready for you. We're also going to create another one. Let's just name this one entertainment, make it green, and then give it, let's see, let's give it this plane icon, just totally random. Click on OK. And finally, we're going to create a new one. We're going to call this one, um, I don't know, we're just going to call it personal. And we're going to make it red, pick the glasses, click on OK, and now we have these three containers. So now I will just show you how you can add websites to each container. Let's go to discord.com, 
and we're going to click on this icon and we're going to assign it to this top one here and as you can see we now get the same effect that i had on my personal profile so now if we go here i can just open this up on a new tab and now it's going to ask me if i want to open it in the gaming sandbox so we're just going to click on remember my choice then open and this is what it looks like Another cool thing is that you can go to discord.com slash login and even though it's a subdomain that belongs to discord it'll still pick it up and open it in that same container which is pretty neat. Let me show you how you can add one to the entertainment container. Let's go to youtube.com and inside of youtube we're gonna click here and assign it to this one here and you can go and do this for every site that you visit every now and then you know every frequently visited website you can assign it to a container so that it stays organized within that particular container and none of its browsing data leaves it and just allows for cross-site tracking between multiple websites so we're gonna remember again click on open and this is youtube now in this container so for the last time we're opening up another tab and this time we're gonna open up reddit and just as an example i am going to click here and then add it to the personal container so now this is what reddit looks like it's the same website you can do the same thing but the difference being that now it is launched on a container rather than on a standalone tab now every time you open up a website for the first time once you've assigned it you will have to click on remember but once you click on remember once it won't ask you this question again and it'll just open it in that container from now on which is pretty useful so those are multi-account containers in firefox and there's this last extension that i want to cover before we head out so let's go again to Mozilla add-ons and we're going to search for the Facebook container. So we're going to type in Facebook, click here, click here again, and now click add. And now as you can see, we have a new container inside of the extension. However, what I found is that this Facebook container from Mozilla does not actually have all of the Facebook links or URLs. So as an example, if you use WhatsApp and you want to use WhatsApp on your system, you can go to web.whatsapp.com and as you can see, it is not loaded in the Facebook container. So to complement the extension that we just downloaded and add more Facebook URLs on top, simply click here and then click on Facebook. So now it'll remember that this is a Facebook domain and hey, I'm going to open it in Facebook from now on. So again, click on remember, click on open in Facebook container. And as I said, it'll open in that container from now on, so long as you don't delete it. If you want to delete a URL, click here, then click on manage containers. From here, simply click on the container that you want, then click on manage site list. And then from here, you can click on the trash icon to remove it from the container and of course if you made a mistake and you added one that you shouldn't have to so the wrong one you can delete it go to that side again click on this icon and then add that to the right container so if you set this up once and you enable sync and you have everything connected it's way easier to just do everything in a single browser than it is to have multiple profiles or web browsers because if you have multiple web browsers you're basically creating more of an attack surface and it's more apps you have to keep up to date not to mention the other apps you might use i find it easier to keep it all in a single browser and then mitigate cross-site tracking by using these containers. This has been it, but for now I do hope that you did get a glimpse of the containers and how they work and how to set them up and how they can make a difference. Trust me, once you set them up, it becomes transparent, they're gonna work without you noticing it and it's amazing. So thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you have a wonderful day.